So for those of you who did not see my previous factions video, I ended up giving Xeon my Easter G pick to use for an entire week. And well, that means I have no good money making method. Mining with that pickaxe was my main way of making money, but now I don't have it for an entire week. So I guess that means we're gonna need to find some new ways to make some money. Now I'm gonna be looking at many different methods of making money, and I'm just gonna go through them all, see which one's the best. And then with those results, hopefully you can use that method to get some money as well. Anyways, lastly, before we start, around 57% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you're one of those people and you want to subscribe, it would greatly help me out. Anyways, with that said, please leave a like on the video and let's get started. Now, if I had to guess, the best way to make money would just be by killing zombies with like a YouTube sword or a Pegasus sword. So I will try this out later, but I'm going to try some other money making methods. Now, the first one I want to try out is fighting bosses. For the longest time, it really wasn't worth it because of the lag. But now, I think the server's starting to get slightly less laggy, so I want to see if it's actually starting to get better. Now, if you want to fight bosses, there's a couple of things that you're going to need to maximize your damage so you have a chance of getting the Greek crate from one of them. Now, the first thing you will need is a Sharpness 9 sword. There's many different ones, but I think Necromancer is one of the cheapest, and it really doesn't matter what other enchants it has on it, so long as it does have that Sharpness 9. Now, next up, it does help to have multiple sets of armor, so I'm going to have two different sets of armor on me. I got a set of hair with protection 9 on it, and then I've got this Hephaestus set with protection 7. It really doesn't matter what protection you have for a boss, it does help to have a higher protection though so you don't get killed as quickly. Now I think the last thing, and possibly the most important thing that you're gonna need, will be strength potions. These things are extremely underused on the server, and I think a lot of people should be using them. When you use it, it gives you 260% attack damage. To put it one way, rather than your sword dealing 18 hearts of attack damage, if you multiply that by 260%, it's gonna end up dealing 46.8. Now, I'm no mathematician, but that's quite an increase. The last thing you will want is a fair amount of slime balls. I'd recommend like three to four of them to begin with. You may want to have three sets of armor, but I'm just gonna be sticking with two. I don't think it matters too much, but I will say it is nice to have two sets. Anyways, I think we're gonna go fight this boss. Now, I'm gonna be honest, if you're trying to solo a boss, I may end up dying here. I mean, I don't have any like G sets on or anything. I can just grab like a necromancer kit and get back into the fight. It does help to have multiple people fighting them though. Anyways, I guess we're gonna use a uh, slime ball and let's get into this. Also, make sure you do drink your strength potion. Now let's see, Ares, it's on, it looks to be on like 80% health. I bet I can 1v1 this thing. Yeah, hits are actually like registering when you're, it's, it, when it's only you, I think it's much more worth it. Now with the lag, it's about perfect. My hits are generally still registering and the boss's hits are like extremely laggy right now. This means I don't even have to use an E-gap to fight this thing. Now make sure you are checking your effects to be sure that you're always on strength. If you're not, it's, you're dealing way less damage and it, it really doesn't help. Also, from what I know, I would not recommend using a G-sword. I think bosses only take into account like sharpness and strength. I'm not exactly sure how that works or anything, but I'm pretty sure in an update they made it so it's only sharpness and strength that count for damage. Now we do have two other people coming into the fight here. I should still have a chance to get top damage unless one of these people are the one that dealt that like first 20% of damage on it, but I think I do have a chance at top damage here. So I've been going at this thing for a solid like 7 to 8 minutes now, and well, with the lag, I honestly don't think it's worth it to fight a boss. That being said, if there is no lag or there's less than like 75 players on, it is 100% worth it. You get your faction here with like maybe like 4 to 5 people in, and with that, you can literally destroy the boss. Anyways, this thing's got way too much health for me to fight right now. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Now, another good money making method involves the auction house. I don't think that many people have done it before. I'm gonna be honest, I've probably only done it like 1 or 2 times this season, but every once in a while, it helps 
helps to just look through the auctions, see if anything's been priced relatively low. Now, if you happen to see something on the auction house that seems slightly underpriced, you can go buy that and then resell it if you want. I've done this with forge notes. I've seen people put them up for like 10K. I grab them, I resell them for like 200K, and it's just easy profit. Right now on the auction house, I'm not seeing anything that's too underpriced, but that is a good method for making money. Now, next up, we have quite a common money-making method. If you've got around a stack of zombie spawners, you basically get an infinite supply of zombies. And if you combine this with something such as like a YouTube sword, you can make a lot of money. Now conveniently, I do have a YouTube kit right here, so I'll go place it down. I, I basically just need the sword out of it. You know, if someone wants to yoink all the stuff in our base, feel free to. Now just to test, I'm gonna start killing these zombies. I will be using the YouTube sword, so I am gonna need a strength potion. Well, now that I've got strength, I can one hit these zombies. And this thing's got looting for it, so I'll be making quite a profit from this. Just from that small bit of mining, I got around 50k, and that only took me like a minute to do. Now once again, with this method, lag is a huge contributor to how much you can make money. The zombies are taking forever to spawn right now because the server is really laggy. But if you do this later at night, it is much more worth it. During peak hours, to get an infinite supply of zombies, I think you're gonna need double that, so I'd recommend getting like 128 zombie spawners. Now of course, I have previously made videos on this, so I'm not gonna spend too much time, but it is very easy money. Now as of lately, I think ECPE broke the IG farms. IGs, when they're together, will end up stacking now. So rather than you having like a bunch of stacks all dying at once, you're only gonna have one. The profits from an IG farm will be greatly decreased. I don't really think it's worth it anymore. Now, if you're the kind of person that finds yourself with a lot of CEXP, most people will end up just opening tier one enchants because it's the cheapest and you get the most out of them. But with the current state of the economy, Forge Notes have skyrocketed in price. And if you wanna get one of those tier one enchants up to tier five, you're gonna need a lot of money. Now, my opinion, if you're trying to maximize your profits, now with the people that just get the tier ones, they'll sometimes just put it in a chest and we did the same thing and our base got phased into and we probably lost upwards of like 50 to 100,000 CEXP worth of books. That's why I would recommend getting tier 6 enchants, putting them on swords, making G swords out of those or G sets, and then putting those pieces on AH. A G sword can sell for quite a lot depending on the enchants that are on it. This Pegasus sword here is selling for 7 million coins. Well, the thing about this is, Wrath of Hera and Smash aren't even the best enchants for a sword like this. So even if you don't have like god tier enchants to put on a G sword, you can still make a relatively good one and make some good money off of it. Also, if you want, you can sell the tier 5 enchants on AH for a good price, but I think you're gonna make more if you put them on a sword or a pickaxe. Now it's been about eight hours since the previous clip, and while there's only 91 people on, and there is literally no lag on the server right now. One of the bosses just died, someone got a special reward from it. They got the Greek crate, and well, that's definitely profit for them. Now it looks like another boss spawned in, so I'm here to do some PvP. Let me put on my necromancer set, let's drink a strength potion, make sure you're always on strength when you're fighting a boss, and let's do this. Oh, that lag actually saved me. I don't, I don't know why the server's lagging right now, but it did, and it saved me. I, oh, that's why. I didn't use a slime ball. No, I've actually made a mistake. I'm using it. I'm, I'm using a YouTube sword. What am I doing? What am I doing? Help me. Help me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm actually so dead. Yep. Okay. No one yoink my stuff. Oh, I got it all. Let's go. Oh, that counted as a death. Rip. Yo, it's it's really not worth it to one v one a boss. What am I doing? Oh, my, my armor's breaking. My armor's breaking. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yup. Are you kidding? Re this is literally ripped my KD. Now, taking into account all the different methods we used for making money on this server, I think I finally figured out the best ways to make money for the right times and for the right amount of people. If there was any sort of lag on the server, I would just recommend farming zombies or going mining for your money. Fighting bosses is definitely not worth it with lag. Now, if there isn't as much lag on the server, but you are by yourself, it still is not worth it to fight bosses, as you saw in the clips previous. I just ended up dying multiple times. I would still recommend mining or farming zombies, but if you do have people in your faction or other people who are willing to fight a boss with you, I would definitely recommend attempting to fight that boss because if you get the Greek crate, that's a lot of profit. Now the server just reset, so I'm gonna place these zombies and I'm just gonna show you how much money you can make when there's no lag. Now just look at the amount of zombies we're getting now that there's no lag compared to when there was. If I'm not mistaken, this should be infinite zombies right here. Just to test, let's see if we can get this number below 400. Yep, I think when there's no lag, you get an infinite source 
versus zombies. Keep in mind though, you will need around a stack of zombie spawners. Overall, I would say this is definitely the best money making method. You know, I think I'll grind these for like half an hour without the lag because I mean, it's free money. This number just keeps growing even though I'm killing them. Anyways, that's about gonna wrap things up for this video. I'm just gonna keep grinding these zombies. Before we go though, I'm gonna grind up to 6,000 CEXP. We're about 600 away and then we're gonna do a big opening. And we are now just over 6,000. Let's open up a mythical. I got 40k from that and okay, we got terrible CE from that. Never mind. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video and I hope it did help you out. But with that said, I gotta go get back to my zombies. I'll see you in my next one.